Hey guys, how's it going? October 19th. Wow, it seems like it's getting close to the end of the month, thank God. Can't wait till it's over, but uh, still got a ways to go. Unfortunately, another uninspired video, which movie that I have not seen for a while, but I've seen it a few times, and I actually watched it originally in theater, and that movie is Slither. Seems like a movie that you could find in any, like, $5 bin at Walmart or whatever. I mean, maybe not, but it was made in 2006 think um but yeah i went to with a friend to watch it in the theater like i said that was around the time 2004 2005 2006 i was really into movies i was really into like new releases that were coming out i was keeping up with what was looking good and everything and i was pretty excited about slither it just looked really cool from the trailer and from what i've heard about it and since it's been a while since i've seen it the plot i'm kind of like shaky but it's basically about an alien invasion in this small town. And so there's a cast of characters involved, you know, like the police department and some of the people in the town. The uh, the guy who gets the uh, alien in him, first of all, I don't remember what his position is. I don't remember if he was like the mayor or something, or I don't remember what, what he did, but... Anyways, there's like a couple, a husband and a wife, and this guy's like out hunting or something, I think, and he sees basically like this alien egg, and he's like, what the hell is that? And like it opens up or something, and uh, something goes into him, I think. Um, basically, these aliens are kind of like slug-like. Um, you see them, that's why it's called Slither. They're these slimy, kind of leech-looking things, really big and fat. And, um, but anyways, it goes into this guy and it changes him and he starts acting weird. And one of the things that's funny, because it's kind of, it's like a B horror movie. So there's like a lot of comedy in it too, but I do think that it's horror and there's some creepy stuff in it, disturbing and everything else. But yeah, it's, it's kind of lighthearted and, uh, anyways, the guy that gets the alien inside of him. He's like a host, basically. Like, the alien's like a parasite, I guess. But the funny thing is, like, he starts getting a lot of meat. Um, which I actually think might be to feed the woman that he infected. I don't remember. But he just goes to the grocery store, and he's like, meat, meat. And he just, like, puts, he just, like, fills the cart just, like, full of steaks and pork chops and everything. Like, I need more meat. <laughs> and, like, like, okay, buddy. Uh, so he actually weird. But there was like a love affair like with him um, before he even got infected, I think. He was interested in this woman or she liked him or whatever. Well, after he gets like infected, he goes to her and has sex with her, basically. They mate and um, she is going to bring forth, you know, more aliens. Like he impregnated her, basically. He keeps her like in a shed and um, she gets like huge like fills like the entire inside of the shed like they find her later on i don't remember how the police get involved the police find him and um uh, i know uh you see the picture over there anyways spoiler alert like she ends up popping and so there's like hundreds of these little alien slug leech things that go everywhere like all throughout the town and uh, they, like, get in people's mouths, and then they, like, infect those people. And so there's, like, a hive mind somewhere. I don't remember really how it, how it ends, um, but, yeah, when it takes over the people, it kind of makes them kind of zombie-ish, but they talk, and they're, like, the alien kind of takes over their mind. But, yeah, there's some creepy scenes, like a girl... Is taking a bubble bath or something and like one of those things like pops in there and um, it tries to get in her mouth like it goes into their people's mouths basically and she's like holding it like trying to struggle with it to like stop it from going down and uh, you see him like crawling all over the grass like in that in that movie in the trailer sorry that guy ends up transforming more um into an alien he has like a tentacles that come out of him and stuff like his mouth like changes to where he's got like sharp teeth 
there's a scene where like the the police officer or somebody like sees him in the field and they're like hey like they call out for him you know and then he like turns around and they have like the flashlight on him and then you see like his face is all messed up and everything. they're like whoa what the hell happened to you buddy <laughs> but yeah i mean it's it's a gross one it's it's really good and i was really happy to see it in theater um yeah i think there might be uh, I don't know if there was like a priest in there too or that was the I don't know the sheriff I know he's interesting I remember he he likes like RC Cola or something and like when they're going out after the town's like in fact that he's in the car with like a lunchbox and he's looking to see if there's a cola in there or something he's like all I wanted was a goddamn cola and he just like loses his shit over not having a cola. <laughs> it's funny. But there's the cover. You can see somebody wrote their initials on this used version. A wickedly fun horror flick. See how, like, the bed's, like, surrounded by them. I mean, not the bed, but the bubble bath. But it's not like that, exactly. But they are all over. It says, Slither delivers seat squirming scares. And that's by Stephen Ray, Philadelphia Inquirer. And on the front where it says a wiggly fun horror flick, that's David Germain, Germain from Associated Press. It says, prepare yourself for this terrifying, twisted, and chilling film that critics are calling the most entertaining horror movie in years. Joe Williams of St. Louis Post-Dispatch. And this trailer is from the Scream Factory trailer, so there must be like a Scream Factory Blu-ray of this which I would love to have but I really need to just watch this again it says from the writer of 2004 Dawn of the Dead comes the deliciously demented story of an unnamed evil wreaking havoc in on a small town intent on devouring all life on earth this dark force is infecting anyone in its path now it's up to the local sheriff Bill Party Nathan Fillion from Serenity and his team to stop the spread of rampant devastation and shocking mutation before it's too late. So, there's that. So yeah, it has like the alien monsters, you know, the slimy slug looking things. And it also has the guy transformed like, you know, into half alien or whatever. And also, like, the people that it infects are kind of, like, zombie-ish. So there's, like, a lot of dimensions to this movie. It's just, it's really cool. The effects are really cool. They're good. And, yeah, I saw it in theater, and, I mean, I loved it, and it's always stuck with me, and it's always something that I'd like to have in my collection. It was like an instant classic, basically. So, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Slither. Any fans of horror probably have seen it. If not, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I'm sure you'd love it. It's a fun, like I said, it, there's a lot of funny moments in it. But I do think it has some good, serious kind of scares, too. Like, just the scene with, like, the girl struggling with it in her mouth is one. But I know there's other parts, but I just I don't remember... Exactly, but that's one of the big ones of the movie, and that's why it's on the cover where it has her, and you see a bit of it in the trailer, I think, too. Because it shows, she's kind of like, I don't know if she's listening to music, maybe, maybe not, but she's just totally relaxed, you know, she's like closing her eyes, and she's just not, and you see like the slither thing, like jump in there, and it's like swimming through the water, and then all of a sudden, like before it's too late, it's like, whoosh, and she's struggling with it. I think she bites it, and like, juice comes out and stuff and it was crazy but um yeah slither so all right guys that's gonna be it god bless see you later